Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric C. and you're watching The Art of Noise. Welcome back to Eric C's The Art of Noise. And with this one here is going to be no different. This is the neck from the guitar kit world that I purchased a while back. And uh, I figured, well, I can't do too much with the uh, snake bite because the weather outside isn't as warm as I need it to be to do any spraying. So I'm going to start working on this thing and get this thing set up the way that I want it to look. Hence the art of noise. Now, every kick guitar that I've been putting together, I've been kind of putting my own little twist on them, giving them a little bit of a custom customization, making them a piece of art, but a usable, workable tool as far as being a work of art. Now, this one is going to be no different. This is a solid mahogany neck. Very nice, not bad at all for kick guitar. Uh, every kick guitar, you know, has some type of work you're going to have to put into it. They're going to have some type of needs and some things are going to have to be looked at more than others. This one here is not bad as far as the fretboard goes. The frets are pretty good. They're pretty decent. They're not bad. It does need a polishing a little bit, but, you know, you learn. Now, what I want to do with this is... Well, how am I going to customize this neck? You can do something on the fretboard, you can do something on the headstock, you can do something on the back of the neck. But uh, this one here, uh, I've got a plan of what I want to do with the headstock, but I have a larger plan, bigger plan, of what I want to do with this fretboard itself, which consists of pulling these frets. So what I've ended up doing is putting a nice little back bow in this neck, and I want to pull these frets out, heat them up, and then pluck them out without damaging this fretboard, at least not too much. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of chip out on it. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of rough edges. Not a big deal. A radius block will take care of that. Uh, but putting the back bow in the neck opens up the gap where the tang is and just helps it to pull out a lot easier. Now, they did add a fill on the edge of the fretboard. And you can kind of see it. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it looks pretty good. But, uh, yeah, it just, some spots are sunken in a little bit. But I'm going to take care, I'll take care of that. Not a big deal. So what I want to do is, you know, start pulling. I want to heat these guys up and start pulling them. And uh, hopefully this works out pretty good without having too many problems. So soldering gun's been heating up and I got a wide tip on it. That tip is going to keep me on top of that fret to where it should help heat it up and pluck it out with no problems. I've already removed the nut on this. I am going to have to clean up the glue that is where the nut was. It was a plastic. I'm not too sure if this was a plastic or bone nut on this thing because it doesn't feel like plastic. But then again, it could be a different type of a plastic or maybe a PVC plastic, who knows. So I'm going to go ahead and start to pull these guys, get this nice and even on top of the fretboard as much as possible and start to tweak a little bit and see that it's going to be a little bit tough getting it out. Not like the cheap Chinese guitars where uh, you know, these frets kind of pull out pretty damn easily. This is a little bit, going to be a little bit more work. All right, so that was the first fret, and let's see on here. I don't see any remnants of glue 
and it came out pretty decently. Not a lot of chip out other than the marks from the tang, but let's get on to the next one. So the front removal wasn't too bad. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. You know, a little bit time consuming, but uh, I noticed one thing with this fretboard. There is a mild clear coat on it. I uh, kind of noticed on the edges of the fret, when I was kind of pulling on a little bit, there was a little bit of some flakiness going on around the sides. And that's probably why this has a little bit of a sheen to it is, uh, it's a little bit of a clear on it. So what I want to do next with this is I want to straighten this neck back out, get rid of that back bow, because what I need to do next few steps on this is kind of, uh, I need to put this battery someplace, I'll just set it over there for now. Kind of give it a little bit of a scuff and also remove these fret markers. So I can't use the new uh, gauge that I bought for straightening out the neck because there is a little bit of a lip on each one of these uh, spaces where I remove the fret and that is going to give me a false rings. So if I put these right on top of where the fret was and you can see I got a little bit of a uh, rockiness going on, I need to get rid of that and straighten this thing back up. Get this thing nice and straight. without having any type of a gap in the center. center gap, not much. That's much better. Alright, so the neck is nice and straight now. And there's a couple things that I can do. I can start cleaning out the, fr the front slots that are on the neck, but I'm not going to because I'm going to end up pecking this with more crap as I do the work to this. So that'll be the last thing. These old frets here, don't need them. They're bent, they're no good. And off to the trash they go. So I need to get my drill for this next step because I need to pop these guys out and there's a way I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so I got my drill set up with the smallest drill bit that I got, which is gonna work out perfect. Now, you don't need to have a back bow in your neck to remove the dot inlays that are on the neck. Um, reason being is that back bow is not going to help any as far as stretching out the wood like it does when it opens up the gaps for the frets. So let me put my glasses on so I can see here what I'm doing. And I'm going to go right in the center of these guys. through these are pretty thick they're not very thin and they're not plastic either Tell
tell by the way it sounds as it breaks through to the bottom of the hole. A little crunching sound, that's not plastic. out the holes because there's another step I'm going to take with this acetone acetone will loosen up the glue we'll make this to where I'm able to pluck those out pretty damn easy so what I want to do is stick this little thing in the acetone that's going to soak up a little bit of it. And I want to stick that inside the hole. And what that's going to do is that's going to loosen up the glue. Alright, so you can kind of see the fretboard looks a little bit different. Well, I had to take my radius block with some 180 grit sandpaper and still have to go over a little bit to get rid of the clear coat that was on here as I was trying to pluck these first couple of just to test them out as I was plucking the first front markers the clear was pulling and kind of pulling the wood a little bit with it so I was like yeah that ain't gonna work so I had to remove that clear and yes it was a clear because now the wood has got a nice figuring in it um yeah so I'm guessing it was maybe a die on here uh, trying to make it look like maybe uh, ebony which I still think maybe this is ebony I'm not too sure but I'll have to look at the specs on this to see what it said so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these. So what I'm doing is I'm using a jeweler screwdriver, sticking in a hole, wiggling it around a little bit. The acetone should have loosened up the glue a little bit to where I can get good sized chunks of this to come out. Now I know it's gonna break up as I'm forcing this out, which is not a big deal. I wanna get it as clean as possible without damaging the wood around it. See that popped out, leaving some crumbs in there because I ended up cracking a little bit. Now the glue inside here is soft. It's like gummy. And that's from the acetone. So that makes it a little bit easier to get them out. But at the same time, the glue is kind of stuck in there. And this works really nice without damaging the fretboard at all. a piece of the fretboard that chipped out so I'm not worried about that at all not worried about that piece at all it 
has a nice shape to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it. If I can pick it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it right back into place. A little bit of CA glue. Piece of wood right back in place. And then when I do my sanding, I shouldn't even notice that it was missing. All right, now I do want to fill up a couple of spots here. Spot right here when I fill up. There's a little bit of a spot right here when I fill. Now the dust that I've got here. where the crazy glue is. Put drops on top of it. Let that dry. And I'll solve that little problem right there where there's a little bit of a chip. I like saving the dust from fretboards. And after I give that a little bit of a sanding, you ain't gonna see it anymore, it'll be all gone. So now that I have the fret markers out, I am gonna to have to sand with the radius block again and get rid of the little bit of a bird that is around the top of where the fret markers were. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. So if I take a little bit of, just out of curiosity, if I take a little bit of oil, paper towel and just to see what this fretboard is going to look like with some oil on it. It's very thin. Oh yeah, I think it looks much better this way than it did with the uh, clear coat on it. It's got some figuring going on inside there that uh, comes out a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna clean up the mess over here and I need to mask off the top of this after I get the radius finished on there because I've got to do some artwork on here after I get the masking done. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of um, acetone to remove this oil because the tape won't stick to it so not a big deal and she's looking good all right next up